So for sharpening, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a little 1x4 here just for demonstration. But you can use the corner of your workbench, whatever you want with these sharpening stones. So with these stones, I'm only going to do a dry one today. Eventually I do want to print a 3D case or a little jig so that this will slide into for sharpening my V-bits. But uh, right now, we're just going to use the edge of the board. I'm going to use this bigger bit as an example here. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean off all the gunk. And you might have to use a little bit of solvent or, or, some, or a bit cleaner to get all of the junk gone but for the most part I found that just using a brush will actually get rid of a lot of the debris as I further inspect the bit here it does have a few dings out of it I'm not sure I can't remember if that was uh, the way it came or if that's new. it doesn't matter because it's not on the actual cutter part all you're gonna do is you're going to roll it onto the stone so it's nice and flat you'll be able to feel it and then all I do is one two three four five and that should be good and then I go over to the other side okay so now with the stone and I'm just going to roll it onto it make sure it's nice and flat I'm gonna start at the top here and then I'm just gonna do one two three four oh, five so I'm only doing five strokes on that one and then I will come over to my extra fine then I will do three One, two, three. And flip it over. Good. So it locks in there. One, two, three. Or something like that. And then that should be good to go. And then I'll go ahead and do it to all my other ones that need to be sharpened and see how she looks when I'm done. So I think it's time for time lapse. So all in all, I'm happy with the end result here. It all turned out pretty pretty good. Uh, a couple of the smaller ones are a bit iffy. I don't even think I used that end one that much. So it looked pretty sharp still. So I just did a little touch up on it. But other than that, everything else looks good. It looks uh, feels sharp. Uh, the main thing is just making sure that you have your bit nice and flat on your stone. Rule of thumb is I do five and three and if I need to do a little bit with the course okay but I try not to but these are my main six V bits here uh, more or less the front two are ultimately my ones that I use all the time so I still have a bit of cleanup to do on these back ones there they have they're pretty gummy so I'll clean them up a little bit more but I'll wait until I get uh, uh, the dry lubricant uh, spray for it for uh, saw blades and tool bits and so that's my thoughts and opinions on it um, anyone uh, have any other suggestions hey just post them below let me know uh, I'm by far uh, not an expert on this but this is just what I do and what I've learned along the way here so if there's anything I can learn give me the info um, I'd greatly appreciate it 
So thanks again, everyone, for watching. You guys have a wonderful day, and take care. Eh? Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Post any comments below. Or reach out to me by email. Whatever floats your boat.